if you want to hear the news or if you want to be the news, the coffee break is the place to go. <laughs> By the time you're in there, whatever's going on in your life is up and down Main Street and then across the community in about 30 minutes. One day somebody came in that worked over at the Wood Brothers shop and she said, Mary, have you heard something about, she called the name so-and-so. I said, I haven't heard a word. She said, well, if you haven't heard nothing, it's not true. <laughs> you get in there and you chit chat with the locals and you just, I don't know, it's more like home. It's like you're sitting in your grandma's kitchen. I love it. And I remember working at the newspaper, I had our grand opening ad in there and uh, you could get uh, either any sandwich we had, 50 cents. I came out up the steps for lunch and there's people all up and down the sidewalk. I said, what's happened? Somebody dead or died or something? Oh, we in line to get a coffee break. I'm like, I'm in a world of trouble. Everybody feels at home. Everybody chips in and helps. If I get behind them dishes or need to go to the store, the bank, or everybody's really good. Patrick County probably has more musicians per square mile than anywhere you'll ever go in your life. The darkest shadows and out in the blazing sun. I know I am always safe because I am with the one who leadeth me lie down in green pastures when I'm weary. He's with me in the saddest days and he takes away my fear. Very close to market day, either late Thursday or a real early Friday morning, we'll all be out in our respective places wherever we grow stuff and uh, we'll be gathering up and cleaning up and preparing what we bring to the market. It's uh, kind of a, a real hustle toward the end of the week to get ready to get here. The farmer's market is growing, it's thriving. We're getting more vendors each year. Let us try yeah. Yeah. Seeing some young people coming in, which is very encouraging. It's just a very close-knit group that uh, share with each other. It's a, a social event as much as it is buying your groceries. And being on Friday, it's a great lead in to the weekend. People who want to cook fresh vegetables, stir fries, and things like that, uh, healthy eating lifestyle. We have a lot of older patrons. They're looking for that connection back to the land and uh, looking for the fresh produce, too. The Strawberry Festival is going to be in the main part of Main Street, up and down the steep hill there. I'm going to be just across the road with the Rotary Club, and we're putting on a fundraiser called the Blue Ridge Mountains Car Show. Leslie, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece of land. Might be snakes that in the ground. It's a great place to paint. There's lots of mountains and woods all around and beautiful streams coming down from the mountains. It's constant subject matter, you could say. With Stewart, you have the mountains just begin here. So if you want to paint, you've got flatter land and farmland out toward the east and true mountains to the west. The theater opened in 1947 when I was a young kid. I came every Saturday. I never missed a serial. For 25 cents, I could come to the movies, have a popcorn and a soft drink. The acoustics are really good in this theater, and so when we have live performances here, it's really great to hear the performers. I tell you, it's a little bit of everything. It really is. If your grandmother ever had it, it is in this store. Like when I was growing up, the big thing was Cabbage Patch dolls. and. That was something I collected. And now I see these young kids going back to collecting Cabbage Patch dolls, and I'm like, hey, I had those. Makes me feel old, but I love it. 
each booth is like their own little store. They set it up and it just, each one has its own little personality. And I love it, because nobody's the same. Look at me, I'm like, ooh, I get two minutes of being a mom <laughs> by myself, and I'm like, ooh. This is an all day store. Got the snack bar in the back. They can come eat lunch and then finish up the other half of the store after they get done. <laughs> Ten Pin Alley is the place to be in Stewart. Right here we do burgers and you know hot dogs and things. Um, I do my own fries. I got my own special seasoning that I use. Uh, everybody loves them. We tried to keep it original, you know, like it was then, so everybody can come in and reminisce. Everybody comes in and tells us the stories of. You know, oh, I remember this when I was a kid and we used to do this. And it's, it's a joy to listen to all the stories. You know, the old people we have will come in during the day here, you know, and we get to reminisce with them and they go to the coffee shops and, you know, things like that. And then you've got the young people that come in on Friday and Saturday late night. You know, they don't get here till about 10 o'clock, you know, and they're here till midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. I guess that's our way of making sure the traditions last, is intertwining them. My dad and his brothers started our race team here in Stewart in 1950. The Wood Brothers returned to victory lane at Daytona. You know, they grew it through the years and we raced here until uh, I think 2003. We grew up doing this. There was a shop on the other end of town that they had and then there was one on the river down, I mean, they're all within two miles of here. And uh, that's where I, you know, my brother and I started working. You know, sweep the floors, clean up, and clean up cars and stuff like that, and so. But you couldn't wait to go up and go to the racetrack. They are a great family. They've done a lot for Stuart. And then when they won the race at Daytona last year, it just, it just really livened Stuart up again. When we built this shop, we, um, we built a small museum in the front of it. My mom runs it. It's got a lot of little things that she had kept all through from 1950 till now. A lot of it is photos. If you're a really old time race fan, it's got a lot of stuff. You'd be here all day. Stewart really is a, a very friendly town. If you walk up and down the street, people speak to you. If you drive around the town, people wave to you. I've lived here all my life. Can't beat the people, cannot beat the scenery. Even people from out of town come in and they say that it feels like home to them. <laughs> <laughs>